Hello everyone, it's Dr. Sam. I'd like to welcome you to my Eye Clarity Podcast. This is a show that offers cutting edge information on how to improve your vision and overall wellness through holistic methods. I so appreciate you spending part of your day with me. If you have questions, you can send them to hello at drsamburn.com. Now to the latest Eye Clarity episode. So I've talked about the eye-brain connection, and I beat this drum every day. And with this particular statement, there was a study that was done at the University of Rochester, which stated that they did, they studied, they're studying the brain, they were studying the eyes, and their results said that 50% of what we see is in the brain. I would say it's higher. I would say it's 90%. 90% of what we see is in the brain and 10% of seeing is in the eye. And the eye exam that you go to is only exploring that 10%. That's the sad part about it. There's so much vision in the brain that is thrown aside. You're not even evaluating it because it's a glasses check and an eye health check, and that's it. And so I want you to realize that whatever's going on in your eyes, there is a systemic, metabolic, and energetic reason why your eyes are letting you down. And it has very little to do with age. So somebody is asking, do cataracts change the shape of the eye. No, they don't change the shape of the eye. Again, the lens only makes up a very tiny part of the eye, and I'll put an anatomy slide up in a minute. Now, another question is, can exercises change the shape of the eye to be more 2020? And the third question is, how would zoster in the eye affect the eye? So, Let's take that question first. There was a blog that I wrote in a, uh, it's very good, it's called Mind Body Green. And you can um, type in Dr. Byrne Mind Body Green and top type in Ocular Microbiome. So the good bacteria, we talk about the microbiome in the gut. That's the good bacteria. And it's being assaulted now because mineral levels are low in the soil. We're getting exposed to pesticides. There's a lot of inflammation in the gut. A lot of times the biome or the microbiome is not um, optimal. The eyes have their own good bacteria. So when you have any kind of a fungal bacteria viral infection, something like an autoimmune situation like shingles or herpes zoster, it is going to wreak havoc on the eyes. And again, you have to look at it from a systemic and metabolic point of view because eye drops by themselves are not really going to boost the ocular microbiome. The things that you can do to help the eyes, but you got to bring the body into it. Now, in terms of do exercises change the shape of the eye? Yes and no. There are six muscles that attach to the outer part of the eye that help create the shape of the eye. And if you start doing certain physical therapy exercises, those muscles will start relaxing and it will start to change the shape of your eye. But... I've had many, many people who have been very nearsighted or farsighted. And after doing my program, I still measure the same prescription in the eyes, but their visual acuity and ability to read the chart goes back to 2020, which tells me that most of our seeing is mental 
and is in the brain. And how we perceive determines what we see. And it's less about chasing the 2020 and more about understanding the habits and conditioning that affects our eyes. And when you start changing the habits and patterns in the mental realm, it changes how you see things. That's where the, the visual system, so much of it is in the brain and not in the eyes. Okay, another question from Mark. Does my vision continue to change after cataract surgery? Just like it does after getting stronger glasses. So if I get a single focus IOL, will my vision get worse again? Well, it kind of depends on your ability to sustain and keep your eyes in a healthy circulation, oxygenation, maybe doing color therapy, physical eye therapy exercises. If you do those things, then your eyes are going to stabilize. And my experience is, is that they tend to stabilize more if you do some extra eye exercises and do a lot of the things that I'm saying. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something from the Eye Clarity podcast show today. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to subscribe on iTunes or Spotify and leave a review. See you here next time.